Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Keeping It Real with Lefty, where we do celebrity news, YouTube news, and food reviews. But today, we got a different type of video that I want to deliver to you guys. Today, I want to tell you about the time I spent in the Philippines and my experience as a black man traveling to the Philippines. I had an opportunity to be able to visit the wonderful country, taste some of the wonderful food, and I want to share that with you guys. So, what I'm going to do is, I got a lot of running around to do today. So as I'm running around, I'm going to grab B-roll as I'm always, as I always do. And then I'm going to come back and give you a little story times in between the running around. Hey, make sure y'all hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we do awesome food reviews and we provide great quality content. Let's go, people. Let's get into it. Man, attacking on never relent Man, I'm convinced And I insist What you put in is what you're gonna get So push the limit Hood entrepreneur Street connoisseur Black excellence is what I'm striving for Yeah, that's the type of shit that I adore Johnny's Pro Vox Welcome back And as you can see, I'm in a different location I'm actually down at the Biltmore This is a place in Phoenix, Arizona Very prestigious place It has a lot of high-end stores you're lucky to see a Bentley of Benz out here, you know, very, very prestigious area. So I just wanted to come and, you know, window shop a little bit. I know your boy ain't got no money. So <laughs> I had to come and window shop and then talk to you guys about my trip to the Philippines. Man, it was a phenomenal trip. It was amazing. I flew from Phoenix, Arizona to LA and from LA to Tokyo, from Tokyo to the Philippines. Guys, that was a long flight. But the food they served me on the flight was monumental. I got to say that. the At that time, I was allowed to eat beef and broccoli. <laughs> now I can't eat broccoli no more because of my condition. But nevertheless, the food on that flight was amazing. And it was very long. I took a couple of naps. I took a couple of naps. When I got into Tokyo, Japan, I had a four-hour layover. So I stayed there for four hours. I got on the computer, did some things, and then I flew from Tokyo, Japan, to the Philippines. And when I got to the Philippines, it was nighttime. It was, it was beautiful, it was beautiful. It was very, very beautiful. With that said, I am very, very hungry. So, I'm gonna go grab me something to eat from the Cheesecake Factory, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna talk to you guys about some of the foods that I ate over at the Philippines, okay? So with that said, stay put. Check out this B-roll, and I'll be right back. Holler if you can't, then don't bother. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah, gotta, gotta get this cake up. Yeah, I gotta get my pay up. Bet I make a way up. They said I couldn't, but I'm way up. Bet that I'ma get this pay bug. Grinding every day, just moving sevens in these eights. Cause gotta, gotta eat. Eat. Don't, don't play none. Nah, nah, don't play none. Nah, I ain't with the game. So guys, I'm back, and I am here at the Cheesecake Factory. As you guys can see right here. I'm waiting on my food. As you can see, it brought me out some bread. Bread is pretty cool. With some butter. And then we got the lemonade here. Ah, <laughs> yeah. We're going to dig into this. We are going to dig into this. Okay, let's try some of this amazing bread. We're gonna try this bread first with uh, out the butter first. It's pretty warm too. Really, really tasty. Really, really tasty. Let's get the fork. Spread some of this on here. So, in the Philippines, in my hotel, they brought us breakfast every day. The breakfast was like eggs, ham. It was, it was amazing. The craziest thing that I witnessed was the McDonald's in the Philippines actually served fried chicken. 
whole fried chicken wings, which is crazy. Take a sip of this drink. Ah, refreshing. Yeah, so they served fried chicken and it was, it was out of this world. Trust me when I tell you, it was out of this world. We went to a couple of restaurants down by the South Asia Sea. We also went to the Mall of Asia and we went to the aquarium as well. The aquarium was pretty cool. A lot of dope fish. And the funniest thing is that Spurs was playing the Houston Rockets the week I was there. And it was funny because the traffic was super, super crazy. Super, super crazy because of that event going on. I'm going to dig into another piece of this bread. Let's try this piece right here. That piece is kind of rough, kind of tough, but nevertheless, still warm. Wow, pretty tough. I am going to hold off on this bread because I want to have room for when my food gets here. When my food gets here, we'll come talk about some more food that I had. You plain and you bland, you is sweeter than yams, but I'm seasoned, I'm prep, I'm just so attached, hold it down like a clamp, hold it down for my camp, down for my land, gas and I'm juiced and revamped, I'm the, the man. Okay guys, my food is here, and I am going to eat this, as you guys can see, we got mashed potatoes, corn, chicken fingers, we got the tea, and we got some brown gravy for the mashed potatoes. Get a fork to get down with the food. One of the things that was very, very tasty for me was the chicken adobo. I had the opportunity to have the people that were with me make me chicken adobo from scratch. We went to the grocery store, got all the ingredients. That was amazing. That was amazing. That in, we went to a restaurant that served I believe Japanese food and that was super super good first time having that that was amazing the food over there was amazing I can't say nothing bad about the food I also had the opportunity to have locals cook for me which was phenomenal in itself but let me stop talking for a minute and let me taste some of this food that's the mashed potatoes that's good. Quality mashed potatoes here at the Cheesecake Factory. Let's taste this corn. Okay. You like the corn? You like the corn? Then we got a bunch of chicken fingers here, guys. A bunch of chicken fingers. Let's take the chicken fingers. Take a little step first. Wow. These bad boys are seasoned super well. Super well. Let's try it with the honey mustard. Monumental. Let's try it with the barbecue sauce. Why not? Let's try it with the gravy as well. Mm. That is monumentally good. My image is good. One of the craziest things, let me get a step. One of the craziest things that I seen the Filipino locals eat was bala. 
And Bilal is a egg with a chicken embryo inside and they eat it. I wasn't trying it. I'll put a picture up here to show you what it is. But I was not trying it. They added vinegar and salt to it and they went to town. Trust me when I tell you they went to town. It's a lot of interesting foods over there in the Philippines, but a lot of great food, a lot of great food. And with that said, I'm going to finish digging into this food. Yeah, this food, as you can see, this food. <laughs> and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you about the women in the Philippines and my perspective on it. Down like a clamp, holding down for my camp, down for my land, gas and I'm juiced and revamped.